goodness, I feel like I've died and gone to heaven. Claire, this is insane. Oh, thank you. Welcome to Bonhams and thank the you. Peter Green collection. Oh, wow. This is... How many, how many guitars are there here? So, we have 150 guitars or so, thereabouts. It's all brands, colours, makes, all from the Peter Green estate. So all of these are from when he started collecting guitars again in the 1990s, around okay. 1990, 1991. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, well, where, where should we start? I don't know where to start. There's too many. Maybe with the National Geo. Okay. From 1931, it was used on the cover of the Robert Johnson songbook in 1998. Mm -hmm. So he played that on that particular album? He did, yes. This is an old parlour, isn't it? Exactly. 1828. This is what? actually lot one in the wholesale, so... This it's, is the oldest one. I think it, it is, must yeah, be. 1828. I mean, that's, it's super old. Uh, Parlor guitar, and that's in at um, about two and a half, three thousand. There's honestly every price point here. We've got things from 100 pounds right up to sort of 10,000 if we're talking just guitars. And so there's lots of different price points for people to, yeah. to jump in. It feels have a like go. there's something for everyone in a way. Obviously, this is an online sale, so everything is online on bonhams.com now. Yeah. It's open for bidding. A lot of the guitars already do have interest. It ends on the 28th of June, and obviously, all the activity tends to happen in the last <laughs> few minutes. So Tense. who knows where it'll end? So we obviously have the White Falcon at the back there. When he played that one, he said that it sounded like Elvis. Right. And it started off his love for the sort of the Gretsch type of guitar model. It's such a beautiful collection. And I mean, I, you know, we know the history with Fleetwood Mac and what happened there. And I know this is kind of the next phase in his life when exactly. maybe he had sort of got things together a little bit more and, and stuff. But yeah, it just kind of goes to show that his love of the guitar never waned. Absolutely. He, he was very sort of technically minded, um, a true guitarist, and he, he clearly loved collecting. Now this, I'm sorry, yeah. is the best thing that I've ever seen in my life. Look at this. Do you know, did he do this or did no. it come like that? No, it came like that. I, it's uh, quite unusual. It is, isn't it? Fantastic. And look at these these V's. So this one here, he describes as it being devilistic. He said it looked mm. like a motorbike. But that was the thing though, did he, I mean, because he's known for being, having this incredible tone and, and stuff, but he didn't necessarily choose guitars just because of the way they sounded. I guess he chose them because of the way they looked as well, some of them? Everything, or? yeah. I think whatever sort of mood he was in or whatever song or sound he was trying to create, I think he liked having anything at his fingertips basically I mean, yeah i mean the thing is wanted. whatever he picked up he could have coaxed out a nice yes. sound yeah. that's the thing make it sound as good yes as it could be. Yeah. exactly now what is this so if we start here these yeah. are the original well they're not the original but they are an, an original iteration of the man of the world they're the only ones in the estate and um, then the drawings yes this is his <laughs> notebook that's um, self-portrait so i'm guessing is. yeah this is man of the world this is that's what he looked like, exactly. the man of the world. I mean, look at his handwriting, it's so neat. Do you think that maybe I could have a little touch of the resonator? Yeah, Here we go, I can't believe I've touched this. Again, I want to sniff it. I don't know why I want to keep sniffing it. 